Hey, welcome back to The Dive. Today, joining us on the show is Marshall Gunter from Data Metrics. But before we bring Marshall on, I'm just going to quickly remind you to tap on that subscribe button. Hey, Marshall, welcome back to The Dive. Hi, Cassandra. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, so glad to have you. OK, so Data Metrics does two main things right now. COVID testing, and social media analytics. So we have to ask, has the company done any research into meme stocks or what's happening with names like AMC and GameStop? Uh, yes, absolutely we have. We have an ongoing project with one of our clients regarding this. Um, but what you're seeing is exactly what's been reported in uh, mostly the news. There's no nefarious uh, content going on in here. This really is just a group of people who have banded together online by you know, behind something and giving it a purpose um, and basically taking on, you know, Wall Street and the stock exchanges using the power of, you know, social media and virality. Well, I guess that's awesome to hear. So you recently announced that Data Metrics passed the second round in a Canadian AI bid. For our viewers, would you mind sharing the bid process and how near you are to closing it? Also, how significant is this for the company? Certainly. Well, this is a very large bid, um, and we have been uh, involved in this for almost about nine months now. So this uh, a bid of this size, um, you have to go in with multiple companies, and then there are bids and sub-bids, et cetera. So we have gone in on this bid. It's an RFP process for those of you um, who are familiar with the term. That means request for proposal. And as this requests for proposals are judged, they're judged against milestones, and then they narrow, you know, the, um, they narrow the herd, so to speak. And so we are at the very last milestone now. Um, so we've passed the first two, which is fantastic. So we should expect the results of this to be coming up forthwith. Uh, I would guess, you can't hold me to this because I can't make the government move or any other the bidding process, but four weeks, maybe eight weeks, Awesome. Very exciting. So you also announced four service agreements for COVID-19 testing on a major U.S. network, as well as a streaming platform and service provider that will last into the middle of 2022. How crucial is this market for data metrics at this stage? Well, right now, it's a secondary market for us. Our AI business is our core business. And in fact, we're moving on fronts on the AI business that are much larger than we've ever moved before. Um, with the COVID business, though, um, it is giving us the runway to do things and the latitude to do things more quickly than we would have prior to not having the COVID business. Now, for the ongoing uh, health of the COVID business, absolutely, these things are, are critical. Um, and we're going to keep signing more and more as long as testing is required. For the long-term health of the company, you can think of it as a jumpstart. Yeah, you also stated that during the second quarter, the company performed roughly 62,000 COVID-19 tests. How sustainable is this? And does the management feel that continued testing will be essential for the immediate future? From what we're seeing, testing is going to continue probably into 2022. At least that's what we're being told right now. Now, this is always an ever-evolving landscape, so this may change. And don't take this um, take it with a grain of salt for me. I'm no epidemiologist. <laughs> uh, I'm just going with what the ex experts have told me. Uh, as far as testing is concerned, there's a small dip over the summertime, but this is not unusual. This is just the ebb and flow of, you know, production business. And it picks back up, you know, roughly now, um, you know, into September as series are picked back up and as movies are green lighted, et cetera. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so last month you completed the acquisition of MediCall Inc. How did this change your view and company's capability in the online medical field? So we're hoping this is going to be a game changer for us. One of the things we looked at very, uh, with much in very in depth, is how can we push into one, uh, you know, a new vertical. OK, and one of the things we were asking ourselves is how can we take the knowledge that we have in the healthcare space um, with the COVID business and leverage the artificial intelligence business? And we worked through this with several of our medical partners 
And Medi-Call is going to be the fruition of that. So it's an ongoing piece. Um, the product should be out there for people to start looking at very soon. Um, and this is actually us growing into a new vertical on the artificial intelligence side while leveraging um, our healthcare assets. Very exciting. Okay, so last question we have for you here. What deadlines or important events should shareholders be on the lookout for the next couple of months? Well, definitely keeping um, ear to the ground regarding those RFPs and bids on the AI side. We also have a few other things in the works on the AI side with some of our uh, current clients that we'll be revealing as soon as possible. Those are the main two pieces I would keep an eye out for um, because that's going to be where the largest growth is driven over the next few years with the company. Additionally, keep an eye out for Medi-Call. As we stated earlier, uh, we're going to have materials for people to consume fairly shortly. Uh, and then, you know, that business will be opening up within the next uh, couple months. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for coming on today and giving us the update, Marshall. Thank you very much for having me, Cassandra. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll be back again tomorrow with more amazing content. So be sure to stay tuned and hit that notification bell.